Yes, your green action did reach out to me as I explained. And you said no, right, and you tried to shut no, it up. That don't I, work. That don't work. What I explained was that the RAB members set the agenda. So if you would like to engage with the Restoration Advisory Board and ask to be part of the agenda. We did that do that in writing, and we were turned down. We did do that. And, uh, and I'm not here to get the runaround. <clears throat> we want answers. Why is Tetra Tech here? Why does the Navy still with a straight face claim you trust them here when a couple of miles away the Navy says you have no confidence in them? Hundreds of millions of dollars, contamination right by the waterfront in both places. So, and you attempt, not you personally, but the Navy attempts to, to shut important life and death questions. I don't think you or anybody in this room, although some people in this room do live feet from contamination. I want to know, and that's why I had contacted the Navy when I sent out pictures of when trucks were getting washed off behind the radioactive signs. I don't think there was a licensed uh, water, uh, contaminated water site there. You're talking about groundwater. Stuff is getting washed off. There's a big pond. Feet from people's homes. Feet. And I can't get an answer, so that's why I'm here. I want answers. We wanted to be on the agenda. So if you think you can just shut us up, guess again, because that didn't work, obviously. So we want answers here about Tetra Tech, about why the hell human beings are put to live feet from radioactive waste. Feet from it. With runoff, feet from their house. Leaking into our bay, leaking into the groundwater. And I can't get answers, and we can't get on the agenda. So don't give me a runaround. So I'm not going to be quiet until you tell us how we can get on the agenda.